So come back to another video. This is Boober Central. Today I'm gonna be making a Sonic video about this green has on poison. Now let's start. Whoa! Whoa, green! Whoa! It's a whoopty loop. Let's ride it. Whoa! Ow! Take two. Ow! Take three. Ow! Ugh. Okay, enough of the loop de loop trying to run in it. But the main part of this video is not going to be just about the loop de loop. I'm going to be at Sonic size and showing you my whole room. Now, let's go. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, a metal Sonic figure, a broken Toy Island Sonic figure, Jack Pacific Sonic toy, Knuckles, and my Sonic Hunter watch. No, there's hundred dollars in I don't mean that's how much it is. Let's go down here. Huh. Woo! <clears throat> you might be wondering, two of my plushes are missing because I was there in the car. I just had this stuff. Now, let's go with one of my favorite parts of this whole shelf. This is a little thing I made. Pretty cool. Watch, 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 watch the lamp. Squirrel Gun, the um, Sonic drink I made, Pez, and the Sonic Energy drink. That's pretty rare! I got for $5. Wow, that's expensive for a drink. <laughs> Here we go with a drawing of mine of Sonic and Movie Sonic with his custom ring bag that he had in the movie. Pretty cool shelf and a Megalodon tooth. Wow. Let's go down. <laughs> Here is a Sonic, the last Sonic Catcher Pushy. I got, no, it's not my last, but one of mine. Um, it's a group cute. It's made by Kid Robot. This is my very first Sonic plush, which I am obsessed with him. This is like when I started getting obsessed. And this is now when, you ca can't tell me I'm not obsessed. Like, look at my room. Yeah. This is my second Sonic plush, with rings. So my first Sonic plush I got for last Christmas. Four fans is not really a little... It's real rare. It was from the 90s. It's 1993. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog gum dispenser. Pretty cool. Got for $27. Wow. 40 different Sega games. It's not just Sonic, but I just want to get it for $13. But, um, what is it called? Game Exchange. Yeah. I did like, I found this on like two months ago. My dad, um, he was in the storage room. That's where he finds a lot of our stuff. Um, he was looking around and he found this on the ground. It was when he was a kid. It was a little Sonic game from back then. And Sega Genesis probably doesn't work anymore. And I just want you to notice my 90s area. A little Sonic TV show. That's the worst Sonic TV show ever. And I got this. I, I'm going to go. It's um, Sonic Dead Truck Free. And cool. Never used it. That's not all of my old stuff. He's a Nun and Sonic game that I found under my bed once from my dad. And probably Uncle. He passed away. And all these little figures. My Sonic costume I had. And for my bat, a Sonic backpack. A thing my dad painted that looks like a vent from Among Us that I can make in my next Among Us video. A little a, a Nun and Sonic plush. Sonic clothes. Kind of fabric area. A Sonic boom area. Got this cool, that's cool. A Jazz or Sonic figure for $30 that came from Russian that network took it in come for like six months. A lot of my little Sonic figurines. Lego Sonic and that. And we're a custom stick bottom made of Sonic. Up there. Cool stuff. A whole little area of my stuff. Um, a little Sonic figure, it is 12.56, just let you know, Sonic figure there, and some things you might never see in my videos. An old thing Baron digged up for me in the backyard, a little diamond. An oil statue right there, that's not going to be there forever. Got a bean bag. Keep it. Yeah, I'm going to clean up with these things. Just like you snow. It's on it. I'm going to gag, it's actually a sneak, I'm not joking. Well, that's Boober's intro sign out. See you next time, guys. Bye!